Hi, I'm Tom Lynch, and you're in my studio, and I want to share with you a little bit of the creative process, the development. A majority of times when I'm in the studio painting, I'm developing a, a, a scene from several different photo references. Once in a while, but I mean really rare, one out of 25, 30, 50 times, do I find a scene that I photographed and go, whoa, I like the arrangements, ready to go. Majority of times, go through a black and white sketching process. I feel my job is to make the best finished painting. I mean, that scene, the tree wasn't really there. But would that have been a good idea or a bad idea to put the tree in? That's where I want to share with you a unique little product, the digital art projector. This little box is wonderful. I can attach it to my laptop or I can take a thumb drive transfer some of my photo varieties to this thumb drive, plug it in, and I can scroll through several different images. And I have one here of the uh, Eiffel Tower, for example. And what it does, okay, so I have my sketch, I have my little line drawing sketch, and this client, this is an actual project, and you're going to see this uh, become completed at some point in time. A unique one, it's actually going to be a mural. But I do the same thing with studio paintings. The client wanted the Arc de Triomphe and they wanted the Eiffel Tower in the same street scene in a cafe. Okay, so I went through and found my cafe scene that I liked and set that in and was able to sketch that right off the bat. But adding those other elements, I wanted to get a visual instead of just go through a half a dozen trial and errors. Sketch it in, no, I don't like it, erase it, move it over, sketch it in, no, I want it on an angle, no, I don't, and so forth. So I was able to come up with the street scene, cafe, was able to then project. That's what it's all about. I was able to, with this digital art projector, I was able to project my scene, and I could play with the sizing, I could play with an arrangement left or right, you know, and so... Um, I was able to get a visual idea of how it could look with my particular sketch. So before I show you that sketch and this in place, you can get an idea of seeing here projected already the Eiffel Tower. And again, my client uh, asked me to create a painting that had more than just the Eiffel Tower. Let me put this sketch up in front. Let me know if that's in position. But they wanted to have um, that particular scene with the Eiffel Tower included in it. And they wanted the Arc de Triomphe. There's no such view that is this particular way, but they wanted a feeling of Paris. So they wanted the cafe, they wanted the Eiffel Tower, they wanted the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, so one of my photographs, and again, as I had said to you before, I've used several different photographs together. I found a nice cafe scene, found a nice street scene. That part I knew I wanted to have on the left side, went ahead and sketched it in didn't need the projector for that. But now then, adding these two really became a complex arrangement. So instead of sketching it in, oh, it didn't work, erasing it, sketching it again, ah, oh, it's too big or too small. You know, it became crazy in a way to try and redo and redo and redo. So that's where I made use of the digital art projector and Artograph put this together so I could take and get a visual. And now, back to the Eiffel Tower. So I could make a decision, do I want the Eiffel Tower, you know, to be, you know, hidden in the background, just coming up on that particular size. You can see how you can see the Eiffel Tower in place. I can see the rest of my sketch and get a good visual idea. I decided to make it a little bit smaller, you know, and put it right in here. And so by having, had a, having a chance to see it in place, to see where it would look best, left or right, using my judgment, that's the unique part of the digital art projector. Now, soon I'm going to be projecting this on the wall and what I ha uh, on the actual uh, finished scene, so let me move my sketch out of the way and share with you. There's a grid format that I can have in place or I can remove to give me an idea of the proportions of my sketch or my photograph uh, if they look right. And that's going to come into place when I actually have that particular sketch and so watch what happens here. I can take and rearrange. You see how the proportions are changing right in front of your eyes? 
so I can move that proportion down as I'm projecting it up and seeing if everything works. Then I can move this down, hide this, and I can see how this grid format gives me an idea of my perspective. And so I can change this coming back the other way. So that's going to take place is when I'm projecting this, you know, on a larger size or especially what's going to happen here is it's going to be, look at that grid format, how I can get a good idea as to whether or not things are going to be straight in proportion. And I actually found a mistake. I freehanded that little sketch of the uh, Arc de Triomphe, and I'm going to straighten up that, that line a little bit better. So now when I am finished with the sketch, the client likes the sketch, and I've got to project this on a 14 by 16 foot wall, I can have it in proportion just the way the final sketch is. That's what I find so unique and can't deal without having this digital art projector where I would have spent countless hours drawing and erasing and getting it right and fixing it and getting it right, fixing it. And then when I had my sketch right, I'd have the same complex problem once again trying to project it on the wall before I did the final painting. There's another thing I've done. I've gone to a client's house. Would you like a Tom Lynch painting? Boom, here's a suggestion of a street scene and I can project the finished painting on their wall and they get an idea of how large they might like the scene, where they might like a scene. There are so many different aspects to this digital art projector um, that I want to uh, share with you. Artograph has done a great job. Uh, I've gone through a couple of generations of it and um, so many parts of it are just right on right now and it's a part of the artist's portfolio. So it's not only the brush, it's not only the pencil, but there's something great that you might want to have because it's really made my life get accurate. I can spend more time painting. I get a better visual idea of what the finish is going to look like in my composition and my design stage. So obviously I like it. I won't be caught without it. And I think you might enjoy having one as well. Thanks for letting me share with you one of the unique little products that has made my life a whole lot better. Let me now share with you some of the sketching and painting of this unique and very large art project I did for one of my clients. you enjoyed a little bit of the creative process in my development from the sketch to the final painting and in this particular instance the digital art projector from Artograph made a huge difference it gave me the option to explore putting together different parts in the sketch it gave me a chance to show the client where to place the Eiffel Tower and I couldn't have got the proportions and the drawing right had I not been able to project with that digital art projector. It made a big difference. One of the things is it saved me a lot of time. And I don't know about you, but for me, time is a very important element in my life. I have some important things to do, like, for now, I have to get back to work. Savannah, um, do you have any fours? No. Go fish, Papa. Okay. Now it's your turn. Do you have any fours? How did you know that? You silly. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.